graduate students are living well below the poverty line. On Monday, graduate students at UBC joined a nationwide walkout calling for more federal funding for scholarships and grants. Sam Connolly was given $17,500 for their first year of research. They say that's not enough for them to live off of in Vancouver. It's certainly stressful um, for me personally. I, I'm fortunate to, you know, I have another job, um, but there are certainly people who I work with in my department who, you know, go to the food bank in order to feed themselves and to feed their kids. Gracie Buckholtz came to UBC from San Francisco. She says if the federal government doesn't raise funding according to inflation, which she says would be a 48% increase, they're going to lose students to other countries who can pay them a living wage so they don't have to juggle jobs. It makes my research harder. It means I'm not always in the lab um, working on the things I could be working on. Um, it also means that, you know, I'm teaching as well. I'm trying to juggle all these things together and it can be a lot. Again, I think it's worth it, but yeah, it's definitely means um, my terms are very, very busy. One of the lead organizers of the walkout at UBC says the federal government hasn't increased grad student scholarship funding since 2003. She says students are now at a breaking point and both the province and country have a lot to lose if they take their research elsewhere. What happens is we're losing scientists at the forefront um, who are working at uh, curing disease, creating uh, green energy solutions and finding a way to make the world we live in sustainable. And when we lose that everyone should care um, because Canada will no longer be able to work at the forefront of science and innovation. The Canadian Alliance of Student Associations is going to speak about these concerns at the House of Commons on Thursday, hoping the walkouts at 46 campuses across the country show how serious the issue is. Canada really needs to act now to be able to retain the Canadian research that we create because every researcher that is lost to the United States, to Europe or elsewhere is a lost Canadian innovator, entrepreneur, or a future Canada research chair. The government department in charge of innovation investments tells City News it's made a series of investments to help grad students from budget 2019 to the most recent budget, saying through budget 2023, the government proposed $813.6 million in 2023 to 2024 to increase Canada student grants by 40%, providing up to $4,200 for full-time students to support post-secondary students and make life more affordable. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.